So Julio, I give you 50 bucks if you eat that Black Widow. Uh -oh. <laughs> hey, 50 bucks is 50 bucks. Oh no, nah, man, I'm all good. I ain't trying to die today. <laughs> Are you for real? <laughs> give me 30, I'll do it right now. <laughs> Say I won't. Now, welcome back to the channel. It's Matt and the Julio, AKA the Baby Maker. And today we're picking up trash. It's a ride along, so we're gonna pick up trash, talk shit, make some cash, and talk some more shit. <laughs> so what do you want them to do, Julio? Hit that like button, subscribe, and let's get this money today. So now we're at the first job of the day. And Julio, what do you see? I see a big pile of trash, but also I see someone that's gonna pay for my diapers and baby wipes today. That's what you call motivation right there. So here's the <laughs> pile right here. He has to feed his kids and get diapers so they're not running around the house with just a towel shitting all over the ground. So here's the pile right here. That's a pretty good pile, Julio. Pretty big pile. I would say at least a load and a half maybe a load in three quarters check that out so you ready to get it or what let's get this money today now how much money can you make a day being a garbage man being a trash man being a junk hauler i'm gonna tell you like this you can make anywhere from 300 to three thousand dollars a day if you own the business if you have your own equipment you know how to market yourself and you're a go-getter and that ain't no bs now let's motivate each other real quick and leave a comment down below what's the most money you made off one junk removal job leave it in the comments down below now i'm over here picking stuff up busting ass and julio's over here laughing about it Damn, you know when you work out or you do something, some cardio, you start letting them loose? That's what just happened right now. <laughs> Now let's say you just started your trash business and you pull up to a pile like this. The first thing you wanna do is dig through that pile and see what's in there before you give them a price. And that's the tip of the day. Yeah, you're right, because with some of these piles, it might look like there's not too much, but underneath it, there's a lot more stuff underneath that stuff. So you just don't know what's really in this pile. Could be some tires, could be some concrete. Could be all kinds of stuff that costs you extra money. And something else you always want to do, always grab the light stuff and have the worker grab the heavier stuff. Wow. Work smarter, not harder. <laughs> That's the motto. That's the motto. <laughs> the first load is done and how many jobs do you average a day we average around three to four jobs per day today's only two and we got the first load done and how was that julio it was good i mean it was hard work but we still look good today we still look good today <laughs> so this is what we got left to do right here and this stuff right here so we're heading to the dumps right now and julio what's your prediction of the dump fee on this one right here I say 75. 75? 75. I'm gonna say 121 and let's see what happens. <laughs> So it's break time and you know what that means it's review time so we're going into 7-eleven we're gonna get some drinks that we never had before and something to eat that we never had before so you ready julio I'm ready try something different let's do it let's do it So 
So now it's review time, and we got some new energy drinks we never had before. And what are they called? Uh, I think they're called uh, Region. Regions. I got the white gummy bear. That sounds delicious. And I got the orange uh, dripsicle. And what else did you grab? I grabbed the muffin. Sometimes I hesitate to grab these kind of things when I go to the stores, but today I was like, you know what? I'm gonna try one of these out and see how they are today. So you never had one of those before? No, I haven't. And I got the real deal, check this out. The Buffalo Blue Cheese. I'm taking a chance today, Julio. You guys <laughs> see that? So open it up, see how it is. Good. Is it good? Wanna try some? No, I don't want to. <laughs> you put your damn hands on it. Oh. I'm gonna try the white gummy bear drink. Let's see. I've been on them bangs lately. Now I'm trying something new. Damn. <laughs> That's pretty damn good. I'll give it two thumbs up. Let's try this one. Food tastes like ice cream. Does it? <laughs> yeah. Hey, open these up real quick. You can try one of those too. Look at the Julio putting the coffee on top of this right here. Okay. And there's coffee inside of it. Oh my goodness, Julio, try one of those. Don't lie. Nasty? No, not bad at all, actually. Yeah, let's try it. It's <laughs> Pretty decent, right? It's actually on hip. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> and I do believe these are 420 friendly. They're pretty damn good, Julio. I'm not gonna lie, they're pretty good. They're <laughs> pretty good. <laughs> so we're heading to the dumps now. About damn time. Check it out, it was 1,800 pounds at $124. I whooped the Julio's ass. And check this out. He said he liked the muffin, but he's picking at the top of it. I think that was a bad review. So here's the game plan. We just went to the dumps and the second job is super close to the landfill. So we're gonna knock this out real quick and then go to the other job and knock that out. Okay. It's all about managing your time, Julio. You gotta start learning how to do that, huh? Especially you don't wanna go from Santa Rosa to Sonoma and then to Windsor. That'd be too much traveling around. Too much zigzagging around. So I made sure that I scheduled two jobs in the same area. Cause from my house to here, it's about 35 minutes away. Shh. You know, gas prices. So you gotta manage your time right. So let's check the job out, you ready? I'm ready. Let's do it. Let's go. Job number two is complete, and that was what, about a five minute job? Yeah, five minutes, two minutes. <laughs> so here's another question for you subscribers out there. What's your biggest struggle in the business? Is it getting your phone to ring? Maybe you're not in a very populated area. Is it keeping good employees? Some people just don't want to work nowadays. Like the Julio, he wants to work every single day. And the reason why? He has mouths to feed. Yeah. And he likes fancy things. So what are your biggest struggles out there? No, I mean, do you guys just have a hard time marketing your guys' business as well? I mean, what 
just kind of see what you guys, you know, what the struggles are for you guys. I get a lot of comments, a lot of phone calls, people saying, my phone isn't ringing, what can I do? You got to do every single thing to get your name out there. That can be bandit signs, that could be passing out business cards to contractors, realtors. Do every single thing you can do to get your name out there. So we're heading to the next job, actually the same job we started earlier. So it's not as big of a pile as it was earlier. <laughs> Hell no. So we're heading there now. <laughs> I'm gonna make it real easy for you subscribers out there. Here's a list of things you can do to get your phone to ring. Check it out. Now, I'm not sure what you gotta do if you gotta rewind it and pause it and take some notes. Screenshot it, do whatever you gotta do because that right there is that free game that will bring you more business and put more money in your pocket. Now, something else that's super important in this business is you want to be like this guy right here. You see that right there? You see that smile? That goes a long way when you show up to a customer's house. They love you when you do that. Yeah, just having a good attitude and being a, a people person, you know? So whenever you show up to a customer's house, always have a smile on your face and be ready to work and look clean in uniform, just like the Julio. So do the Julio. We're going to call that the Julio. <laughs> that's what you want to do when you show up to a job. Do the Julio. <laughs> You ready to knock this out away? Hey, let's knock it out. Let's do it. So we're at the last job of the day. First, we're gonna start putting the flat stuff in first, and then we're gonna start picking up all the debris from the ground and get this uh, job done quickly. And something you definitely don't wanna do is put that refrigerator in to the dump truck and then hit a telephone wire right there and knock that down, Julio, because you know what that means, right? This will no longer be Sonoma Strong Holland. <laughs> this will be whoever's name, Sorry. Strong Holland. <laughs> If we knock them wires down. Actually, I think they're good. I think we can clear them. But always safety first. Now, let me show you how lucky me and the Julio got today. Check this pile out. Do you see what I see? We are going to be in the shade the whole damn time. We're working at this job, Julio. That's good. It's all good. <laughs> Here's another question for you subscribers. Julio is 28 years old, and how many kids do you think he has? Does he have five? Does he have 15? Or does he have seven? Leave it in the comments down below. And if you get it right, you'll be entered to win a free prize. And it won't be baby wipes. <laughs> hey, you better guess right. <laughs> and just so you know, if you're related to the Julio, you can't enter in this contest. <laughs> you guys can't, because you guys already know that answer. <laughs> Now, this is something we never do. We don't take concrete, but this property manager has used me so many times. So for him, we'll do it. Get that workout in, baby. Oh. So Julio, I give you 50 bucks if you eat that Black Widow. Oh. <laughs> hey, 50 bucks is 50 bucks. Oh, no, nah, man, I'm all good. I ain't trying to die today. <laughs> Are you for real? <laughs> give me 30, I'll do it right now. Oh. <laughs> Say I won't. Oh, my God. <clears throat> Damn, that was good. All protein, baby. Oh, yeah.
Now, just so you know, we're looking for more sponsors. So if you're out there, Red Bull, and you see us working real hard, send us a case of Red Bulls, or maybe Wheaties. We'd like a couple boxes of Wheaties, or maybe some baby wipes. Diapers, uh, mates, bangs, whatever it is. <laughs> whatever it is, we like free stuff. <laughs> So I'm gonna tell you guys like this, we always say it's easy money, but owning your own business, it's not a nine to five, it's a 24 seven hustle. And sometimes you get jobs like this that so you gotta get in there and tackle it and you can't quit and give up. Because if you give up, you ain't getting paid for the day. How was this one, Julio? It was good, but like Matt said, the tip of the day is never give up when you're on your own business. Then the cash flow doesn't come in. Yeah, you gotta you got stay at it no matter what. Don't give up. So here's another review for the day. We got a Ryobi 18 volt blower. And we're gonna blow all this stuff to the neighbor's house. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. So we're gonna give this bad boy a try. It costs $119 at your local Home Depot. So. Let's see how good it works. Here's a review right now. So what do you think, Julio? 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Works pretty damn good. And look at that cloud of dust. <laughs> I need to put a mask on. Now, just like that, we're done with the job. And check that out. Now, if you guys want to learn more about the trash business, make sure you check out JunkCon 2022 is going down in North Carolina, October 12th through the 14th. Me and the JoJo will be there. And make sure you get your tickets through the Sonoma Strong Holland link. And hopefully we see you there. JunkCon 22. We are going bigger, better, and badder than ever before. It's not just for Jerry clients this year. This one is actually open to everybody. And listen, you're going to leave with clear actions that you can take to make more money. Just for followers of Sonoma Strong, everyone that signs up using a Sonoma Strong link is gonna get a free Holland and Ballin' t-shirt. Click on the link and we'll see you at JunkCon 22. Now, just like that, job two is complete, and damn, that was a workout. It was a workout for sure. <laughs> now, Julio, what's your prediction of the Dunphy on this one back here? I say 165. 165? 165. I'm going to say 198. We got to pay to dump that refrigerator, and we got a little bit of stone back there. So I'm going with 198. Yeah, I'm going to stick with 165. So leave a comment down below. What kind of videos do you want to see us make? Leave it in the comments and we'll make them. So we're heading to the dumps right now. You ready? I'm ready. Let's head on out. <laughs> Now, just like that, I whooped the Julio's ass twice today. <laughs> and the Julio has another question. What is it, Julio? For all your subscribers out there, or people that are thinking about opening up a business, what made you quit your nine to five job to invest in yourself into a business? That's a good question. Leave it in the comments down below. Anything else you want to say, Julio, or is that it? it was, that's it, man. It was a freaking hard day, though. It was a hard day. We sweated our asses off. We did some reviews and we made some killer money. So if you guys like these videos, make sure you smash that like button and we'll catch you on the next one. Later guys.